Right, so not all Unity Spotlight handles are created equally. Here I just have two different lengths of grip. However, there are differences in the design. First of all, you have the new style switch. You can see this is more of a square type of hole. And then you have the older style switch, which is more of a round type hole. So those are the two differences right off the bat. The other difference is whether you're using the solid brass wedge nut with the finer thread bolt or this composite alloy wedge nut with the coarse threaded bolt. They are not interchangeable. This one is the 8384-P and it will only go in this newer style handle with the more pronounced hole. You can see how it's raised there just a little bit. This one comes flush. Also, try and get a shot of the inside here. You'll see this one is hollow. See how it's hollow down there? And if I rotate you see the rotating key in the back. You'll see it's hollow at the bottom. Versus the older style which it's solid down there. Let's try and get this into focus. So you see it's one piece. The only hollow space is over there where the wedge nut comes in. And the key that rotates is way in the back. side by side there. You see in, in this one there's like a big void down in the back whereas this one it's all solid brass. So for the one that's hollow like that, the newer style, you can only use this um, composite alloy wedge nut. You can see it's not a very good design because it tends to bend especially after taking it on and off for a long time. And you must use this uh, coarse thread, I think it's like a T40 or something. T27 actually. T27 uh, screw. This one appears to be either a machine thread or a fine thread of some sort, and it's uh, solid. So this one will work only in the older style handle. Which is to say, the one that does not have a raised edge around where the wedge nut goes in. Also, this one I'm noticing that the hole for the wire is a lot larger and more pronounced. Possibly for models that come with the two wires, one for a ground and one for a power. For vehicles that um, you don't get a good ground through the A-pillar. Whereas on this one, you'll see... But it's way more pronounced, the wire guide, and only has space really for one wire. Side by side there. The grips are totally interchangeable. So one screw, pull the grip off, and then you take your, um, your wrench, an open-ended wrench like this, and you'll see that there's a part where you can twist off this collar over here, and then the whole thing just comes out. So that's the way to remove the grip and the stem. Those you can interchange between the long and the short, or a new and an old one. However, um, you must match the proper wedge nut and bolt with the style of handle, so those aren't interchangeable. Do not try and force the solid brass wedge nut in the newer type handle, because it's, it's simply not going to fit. It's too, uh, it's too wide at the top, you're just going to break the shaft of your handle, so that's something to keep in mind.